I'm Jasmine Thomas, Program Officer at the City Foundation, responsible for the areas of international financial capability and asset building, as well as youth education and livelihoods. So the City Foundation's mission is promoting the financial inclusion and economic empowerment of low-income communities and places where City operates. As our focus is in the youth education and livelihoods portfolio, we're seeing a groundswell of ideas from countries around the world and a particular focus on building youth employability skills, both soft skills and technical skills that will enable young people to really transfer their knowledge in different economies and use themselves as entrepreneurs to really fill the gaps that we see throughout the value chain. After attending many sessions, I think one of the big takeaways for us is as we are a corporate funder, it's important for us to ensure that we increase the number of private sector engagement and developing economic strategies that work for youth and include them in the formal economy. The other opportunity that's linked to that is finding more ways to engage with programs that not just provide skills development training but also access to formal credit so youth who are actually trying to complete schooling can develop those skills and gain credentials necessary to be successful long term and develop economic stability but through ensuring that they actually have a place to receive access to credit that will enable them to really become a part of um, the larger economy. I think there's two major opportunities. We just left a session led by the Center for Financial Inclusion that launched their Financial Inclusion 2020 plan in partnership with City Foundation as well as Visa and right now uh, Western Union. As we're bringing more funders on, one of the key takeaways from the demographic change document that just was launched today was that there will be a need to provide more services for youth who will represent large portions of countries um, economic base and if we don't provide the kinds of services and the skills necessary to enable them to compete it really will be a challenge of addressing economic competitiveness on a global scale and that is something that we're um, at, through our financial inclusion mission at City Foundation really focused on. The other key that's linked to that as well is how do you get to scale on some of the good ideas that are happening in countries Given that we fund in 91 countries around the world, we are seeing an increasing amount of opportunities to test the role that technology plays in advancing access to finance, as well as skills development in a way that provides meaningful change for low-income youth. Well, I think one of the things that we're waiting for is to see just how far technology can take us. We're always at the brink of figuring out, you know, first it was the access to laptops and computers, then it was the handheld devices, now it's PDAs and all other types of uh, tablets that are available now. The question is, how do we begin to use these devices, not just as a strategy for uh, delivery of systems of, or payments for, uh, for people around the world, but also how do we use these to actually build capability, build skills of this uh, new generation and also enable that ensure that those in rural parts of the world can actually connect to their urban counterparts and really find ways to not just become active and participate but also to really um, explore uh, increase their their long-term financial stability.